Today we're putting a new fender on the old one eye. Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. I'm your host Belsif. Well, as you know, I got my pile hurdle here, my little one eye, hey, the old dirty old one eye. And I don't know if I told you or not, but the daughter broke the fender on it. So I zip tied it up. It's not too bad, but I said, geez, you know, she beat the crap out of the old hurdle. And she just, she abused it, didn't use it nice, so I took it away from her. I figured, hey, listen, I'll call Pyle and I'll say, do you happen to have parts for these things? Because I really need a fender. Then you have to send me one for nothing. So if you want to talk about customer service, this is the place to go. So we're going to pull this fender off and we're going to put the new one on and see what happens. Because that's what we do. Hopefully everybody's having a good day like I am. Just hanging out, doing whatever you want to do. Because it's always nice to do that. There's three little rubber grommets in there you want to keep hold of. You don't want to lose them. And then we need a, a little torx action here. Now I'm going to grab my DeWalt unit because that's what I use around here. I use DeWalt's. I don't use Makita's. I don't use Milwaukee's. I don't use any of that stuff. I use DeWalt. If you're a DeWalt guy, comment down below. And if you're not, don't comment down below. It's that easy. So that one there is not quite the right size, but it's close. So we'll take this off maybe and we'll find the right size. So we don't cock it all over. No, no. That's another thing I gotta do next is figure out my bits here so it's not such a mess. No, 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 no. Uh, close, but no. Of course it's metric. What wouldn't it be? Now well, she's as metric as she gets, Captain. All right, so three screws and this comes off. Now the only thing is we do have a wire that goes into the unit and the wire is on the new one and there's a couple of connections on it so what we're going to do is we're going to try to flip this thing over and see if we can't find out where the wire goes because we want to change the wire let's move that before i break it in half because you know we normally break shit in half all the time why wouldn't i so we'll flip this over like so put her on the ground and scratch the hell out of her it's always better to be safe than sorry there we go so it looks like we're going to need a star screwdriver for that I know they're not called stars, but that's what I call them. So we'll whack that out. And we'll lift this off and have a gander. Maybe not. Let's whack this off. I know this is where the battery is, that's for sure. I've actually been wanting to take a look in here anyway, so we might as well. That's a lot of screws. Oh, look. Hey, how you doing? So there we go. We got all of them off. So now this thing should maybe come off i don't know i've never took one apart before so i don't know oh yeah sure did there we go hey look at that and there's a plug for it right there let's take the rest off and have a gander the rest don't want to come off so let's not take the rest off and have a gander let's just unplug this thing here that's all glued together might be a little bit of a pain to get apart i guess that's one way of gluing the plug in making it weather tight yeah we did freaking right we did i still want to look at the batteries though ah oh, i wonder if there's something right there Let's have a sander in there and have a look, see? Looks like another one of them fake holes. Sure is, there's a screw way down there. Who wants to look inside? Leave a comment down below. Sounds good, I do. I do too, let's do it. So unscrew this here, like so. And we'll unscrew this like so. Now this is a 36 volt scooter, so make sure you don't let your cock sucker yourself, if you know what I'm saying. Cause it could happen. Oh, dick. Oh, wires go through it and everything. Oh, look at that battery, that's decent. Well, there you go, there's inside the scooter. So that's pretty freaking cool if you ask me. Not a huge battery by all means, but it's big enough. Now, this is a plug that runs all the way, so I don't think we need to worry about it too much. Let's unhook this plug. <laughs> and we'll plug her in here, somewhere. I'm thinking this way, yep, there we go. So that's all there is to that. So actually, you know what? We shouldn't have plugged it in yet though, I'm just saying. So let's put this back together now that we looked and I showed you the battery, there it is. And we should write that serial number down in case they ever need a battery, but I'm sure I can search it and there's not really a point of doing it. So let's not do it. Let's just stick this thing back together now. Make sure you get rubber grommets in, the slots, and make sure you don't electric cocks out yourself, like I told you before. Because you do not want to electric cocks out of yourself with 36 volts. We have a little sleeper rooski. Well, there we go. So we'll slide that in. Fill out again. Oh, Jesus. Don't take this off. You don't have to. All right. So there we go. That's in. Let's throw a couple screws back in here and hold her together. And then Bob's a freaking uncle. Oh, of course I dropped that in there. Come on. You know it's gone right to the bottom. 
Because that's what it does. And you know we got to change that tip because that tip is no goody. That's the tip we want right there. Yeah. Let's get this back to where it's supposed to be. Perfect. All right. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification if you like to disassemble the old hurdle scooter. One eye there. And put in ourselves a new back fender doodad. You know, I always like you're here for that kind of stuff. All right. So that's tight. We put these little grommets back in there. Then they put holes in that are going to be absolutely pointless now, but hey, they're there. Put these screws back in. There's that. Fender, fender, fender. Here it is. So we'll uh, slip this back in. Actually, we're going to flip it over first. Let's flip it back over and slip that back in. There we go. We gotta put the fender on first this time because the wires were broken on the last one. We don't want to break these ones. So we'll slap the fender back on, just like this. Easy. Get the rubber grommets back in. There we go. Oh, put one upside down, pull that grommet back out. Why wouldn't you? And we'll turn her back around. Now we'll flip her back over again without putting on the fender, just like that. We'll plug her back in. Oh my God, don't you dare. Which is right here. Holly balls down. Perfect. Put this case back on. Perfect. Screw gun. And perfect. So there you go. So that's all there is to changing the fender on the hurdle, which ain't bad at all. Hey, that was pretty freaking easy. This is a quick little video on how to it is. Dirty old Bilsum. That's how you put a fender on. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification bell bar button, because I would. Welcome any new subscribers to the channel because I love you guys, I'm glad you're here. Thanks for subscribing. Hopefully you stick around for the long run, like a lot of you guys have. Other than that, love y'all, and you know what to do for now.